Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mrs. H. A very happy Easter weekend to you. Happy Easter Sunday in particular. Um, if you celebrate Easter, of course. So what are we having today? Is it, well, well, there's an Easter bunny at the top there, if you can see. <laughs> okay, so shave, shave today is going to be used this stuff. Chiseled face, uh, grumatorium, Santa Paula, Pettigram, bitter orange and sage. Has this got a... Something tells me it's got menthol in this. Maybe not. It's got, um, wait a minute. Essential oils, mango, butter, avocado oil. Uh, yeah, so... So there is, yeah, that sort of citrusy scent. I can get the sage now. I know it's there. Because I realise what there's a scent there. I think, well, what's that? The sage. And there's sort of a, there is a bitterness to the orange, so it's, it's quite good. So that's what it's... There, that's in the fine bowl, using the larger bowl today because we're going to be using the Yaki, it's a huge thing, 26 millimeter. You see that? Uh, lucky dice uh, brush, synthetic brush. We use that today. Uh, razor, love this little razor. Um, Gillette, it is branded on the head there, Gillette, and it's the Ball End Tech. Razor, lovely, very lightweight, heavy, head heavy, very three piece non adjustable. In this, just bear with me, I'm going to use a brand new Gillette Nasset today. I like these blades. Use one of them, uh, which is here. Bear with me, place that on the head there. Like so. And then a slight overhang to be aware of. So some of my hair then. Slight overhang to be aware of there. Um, you can see the exposure of the blade, maybe. There you go. Very difficult to show really. There better. Um, nice, it's a mildish razor really. I like it, it's nice. Um, I used the uh, Hendrix Classics and Co. They made me this uh, soap spoon with my name on it, branded Polish films. Use that to scoop the soap out and then uh, put in the bowl obviously. I'm going to use a pre-shave today. We're going to use the, this is the original cube um, by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It turns your stubble very dark. You see what I mean now? So I'll just wet the face. And I'll... I'll lather it up and then I'll rinse it off. See what I mean? So are you partaking in a shave today? As always, let me know please. Shave of the day, meal of the day. I'll let you know what I'm having. You could shave with this, you know. Good enough. I'll let you know what I'm having. If you watched my hot and spicy, you will know already. So I'll just uh, give that a rinse. You could leave it on. But, uh, I like to get rid of it as much as I can. Don't get it all off. Most of it. There you go. Bad. 
Kacken durch. Ja. Easter. Have you had any Easter eggs? That's the main thing. <laughs> Here we go, wet but not dripping. We'll just uh, gather a bit more water on that. I expect um, usually a lot of people go to church on a Sunday, so you may be watching this after you've been to church, maybe or before. Um, especially on Easter weekend, some people who don't go to church go to church. Um, That's beautiful, straight away. So it's a very, it's a mild scent from the puck and from the bowl. I'd say, oh, a two out of ten, very mild. It has a like a citrus scent, as I say, with that background of sage, pettigram, whatever that is. I've heard of that actually, but I'm not sure what it is. And then the uh, the bitter, there is you can you can sort of smell the bitterness of the orange. So just a so you're really using that pre-shave. Gives you a good foundation, doesn't it, on the skin for a shave. Uh, I think it's quite good that for if you're using an aggressive razor or a shavette or a a straight there you go so we'll heat up the Gillette Ball End Tech and we'll go for the first pass obviously using a brand new Gillette Nasset blade there we go oh, it's so gently enough but it's, you can feel it cutting Nice soap. Beautiful blade in this especially. Excellent slickness. However, this has had a helping hand on that first pass with the uh, pre-shave, obviously. But um, it is a good soap, anyway. Mm. Good thing with these brushes because they're so big, you soon 
cover the face. That's lovely. Yeah, really getting that sage scent then. With a slight bitterness to it, so that's the orange. Bitter orange. Keeping clean, lovely. You can see that. Across the growth, here we go. This would make a superb daily razor for me, this, if I shaved every day. Because it's mild, very gentle, and it's uh, very efficient at the same time. For me, I mean, it's for my shave, you know. Don't forget the top of your nose. <coughs> oh yeah, dinner. Very simple. Hot dogs. You are. Oh, you're here. Hot dogs. Yeah, it's uh, not traditional frankfurters or anything like that. It's, uh, I've got some sausages from a supermarket. Three chili sausages, habanero, uh, ha jalapeno, or something else. I think they're um, they're not hot, spicy sausages, but there's a lot of garlic in them, and they're, oh, they're beautiful. So it depends on the weather. Out there, may light the barbecue, charcoal, do the sausages, get a little pan, chop some onions, fry them off. Got some buns there, so butter the buns, with sausages in, fried onions, mustard, and ketchup or hot sauce, whatever. And then, um, third application. I may do a sort of a bit of a salad with it, side salad. Oh yeah, I've just thought I got some pickled jalapenos in a jar in vinegar. So they're hot, they've got a good kick to them. So a few of them. Some peppers, bell peppers chopped up finely. A bit of carrots, a tomato, cucumber. Oh yeah, and a, a dollop of piccalilli maybe. Come on, I can't wait. <laughs> right, against the growth. Here we go. Very, very relaxing and comfortable shave. So very slick soap. And I gotta say very um very mild scented. Maybe that has weakened with time, maybe, but very enjoyable.
Wow, that's lovely. And welcome to any new subscribers to the channel. Um, we've just celebrated passing, just just turned now I think, 20,000 subscribers. Whew. I mean, to be fair, when I first started this channel, not with the intention of doing many shaves, or it becoming a regular thing. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Um, I didn't think I'd get, well, 20 subscribers, to be honest, because it's such a unique um, subject, wet shaving, especially then. Nobody, you know, there's hardly anybody doing it. Um, the only channels I know when I started, Mantic59, um, what's his name? I think Razor was a Razor Emporium doing him then. Uh, Geo Fat Boy, he was big then. Um, channel, I think he's nearly coming towards a hundred thousand. He is. Um, I think uh, I think Kevy started after me. Yeah. Um, Ken Surfs, I think he started slightly after me. Uh, he's done well, hasn't he, Ken? Yeah, if you're watching Ken, where are you? You're coming 40,000, is it? That's near something like that. Amazing. Well deserved. Nice man. Yeah. Oh, and um, Sonata Lennon. Yeah, but he came after me, I think. There's a few that were um, well established now. Um, started around the same time, maybe, in, or just after me. Yeah. Amazing. The reason I say all that is because, uh, as I say, now it's a normal thing to watch a shaving video on YouTube, but back then it was a bit of a... You know, if you told somebody you did shaving videos, well, you film your shaves, do you? Yeah. yeah. If what's locking it? That is absolutely beautiful. Cool water rinse. Look at that. I remember because when, when I started the channel, I was just thinking, um, it started to grow quite quickly. And no one was more shocked than me. Uh, so much so, YouTube contacted me. I think something must have triggered a because I was such a small channel getting so many views. I think they were looking at what's going on here. It must be like a security, <laughs> you know, it could have been anything, could I have been with an axe hacking somebody to death? <laughs> um, anyway, they liked it and. And it cut a long story short, they gave me a channel manager, Jenny in London, she was lovely. And the channel grew, you know. Um, 
I was going to say, got things out of my head. Thayer's lemon witch hazel. Um, and then people were saying, you know, I was saying about, oh, this is lovely. The strange looks you'd get by saying you film your shaves. And this fella said to me, you want to see the looks you get when your wife or your partner walks past the look, and you, you're watching something on a phone or a tablet or a laptop or something, or even on the TV now. Oh, big, <laughs> and then watching this, <laughs> watching somebody shaving. You're watching a man shaving? All oh, right. You're thinking he's lost it. <laughs> but hopefully that's all normal now. And this stuff I'm going to use now, Duru. Duru, Limon, Lemon Cologne. If you remember, a few years back I bought an Evin uh, Lemon Cologne from the Turkish a shop in, in Kensington in Liverpool when I went to see Steve Farragher and uh, in a beautiful sort of ornate bottle well that run out and I couldn't get it couldn't get it anywhere but this is almost identical if it's not the same stuff beautiful and somebody told me that in the comments a few years back said get the Duro it's the same thing except not the uh, fancy bottle obviously not made by Evan but uh, that's loads of stuff, good stuff that, really lemony, um, very lemony, it's beautiful. Smell like a right lemon when I go out, <laughs> get it. <laughs> right, this stuff here, I was, funny enough, I had a message of someone just bought this, fantastic, if you, if you get a chance to try it. And I said, if you're watching, thanks very much, I said, I've just bought one in Home Bargains. I think there's a couple of things there, but I bought this one just to try. It's called Bert and Bert Skincare Number no. Three Repair Soothing Post Shave Balm. So we're going to try that today. Mm. I think you did say it's quite thick, is it? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, that is nice. It's uh, a bit thicker than the normal thin Nivea, but similar to Nivea, isn't it? If that makes sense. That's nice. That is nice. So there was a, I, I did notice a couple of other types uh, on the shelf next to this, so I might get them on the next visit. I tend to buy one on every visit because it doesn't seem I'm spending a lot then. Just fooling myself really. Oh, it's there. Um, instead of buying the three together. Do you feel like that? Somebody just buy one today and one in a couple of weeks or whatever. <laughs> oh, I've got a new raise on the way. Um, I think it's new out or it's about to come out or something so i look forward to showing you that and using it so thanks for watching um gillette ball and tech we've used the phoenix artisan accoutrements pre-shave the cube the original yaki's 26 millimeter lucky dice synthetic brush the fine ball chiseled face um santa was it santa paula god i can't see without that terrible isn't it yeah, I was right. Santa Paula, Petit Grand, Bitter Orange and Sage Shaving Soap. Lovely. No menthol to be... I thought that had a bit of menthol in it for some reason. But it doesn't. Lovely. Very, very mild. Good, efficient and very slick soap. Water to rinse. Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Duru Limon Cologne. That's beautiful stuff. Big bottle. And this new uh, Bert and Bert number no. 3 Repair shave, Aftershave Balm. Feels good. So I'll leave you to it. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care of yourselves and thank you so much. All the best. Bye-bye.